This is going to be a review on the Google Pixel 8. Let's get this started. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt. This is Dwyer Creatives. And today I wanted to go over for my two minute Tuesday, a quick review of my experience with this phone, which is the Google Pixel 8. I received this phone back in the fall to review. And for the past few months, I've been using it as my secondary phone. For a little bit, I was using it as my primary phone. I just wanted to get some time with it because I'm primarily a iPhone user. Now this is my iPhone 12 Pro Max and it's been my primary phone for the past few years. I'm typically an iPhone, Apple user. Um, majority of my phones have been Apple phones. I have done a few Samsungs and stuff like that. So this review is going to be from the standpoint of basically someone who leans for an iPhone, Apple fanboy, kind of more or less. Uh, so let's get into it and put two minutes on that clock. The worst thing I want to say about this phone is that it is quick and the screen is really bright. Even in the outdoor bright light in the middle of the day, you turn the brightness all the way up and you can see every little pixel on the screen. You'll never have an issue viewing it. Now with that, the battery life, um, again, I did use this as my EDC phones. I found that the battery life throughout the day was very good. I didn't have to charge this at all opposed to, again, like my iPhone 12 Max Pro. It is a little bit older and I usually have to charge it at least once a day, but this Google Pixel, I never had to do that. It was one charge for the day. Something else that I noticed with this phone is that its size. So this is not the Pro model, it is just the Pixel 8. And again, compared to my iPhone Pro Max, if you line both of those up, it is smaller. And this phone does feel a lot nicer in your hand and for me, you know, you can easily hold it one hand and you don't get some of that fatigue. You don't get that little indent in your finger from holding, say, a larger phone. I've been really enjoying carrying around a smaller phone. So when I do fully upgrade to my next model, uh, it's something that I will consider. Something that I do as a content creator is I take a lot of photos and videos with my phone. And this camera worked really well with it. Um, something that I noticed that the colors I felt were a little bit more punchy and true to what you are seeing with your eye. And again, my comparison is to the iPhone and then also my other cameras that I have around. I think it did a really good job with it. Something I will note though is with this Google Pixel, going through their file management system is not as intuitive and something that I'm still adjusting to. That's again, comparison to like an iPhone where everything is right there and you can pretty much access everything either by your photo album or going into your main folder and it's all there. I will say though, it's maybe it's because I'm not used to these as much, but it is something that's worth noting. Now, my biggest issue with this phone was something to do with the videos. And I'm not sure if this is specifically to Android or specifically to the Pixel 8, because on my um, Galaxy tablet, I never had this issue, is when I'm watching videos in the horizontal mode and I go to pause it, say a message pops up or I want to go look at something else on another app. When I go to slide my finger up, a lot of times it scrubs the video right into the middle and then keeps playing or it scrubs it right to the middle and then I'm able to swipe out of it. Something that was a huge annoyance and then I'd have to go back and find the exact spot I was at. So just like uh, final thoughts with this, I do enjoy this phone. I think it does a great phone. It's super quick and snappy. Editing photos, downloading them, uh, uploading them. This phone does it all really quick. The camera overall is great. Uh, I didn't have any real issues except in the light, but then again, a lot of these phones have issues in the little light. So is the Google Pixel 8 gonna replace my iPhone? And just, no, it's not. This is a great phone and I'm gonna be using it as my secondary phone for work purposes. But I think because I'm so used to the Apple ecosystem, it's not something I'm willing to fully transfer over. And again, you know, I do watch a lot of videos and that whole scrubbing issue, switching between apps. If I can find an easier solution to that, where it doesn't do that, maybe I will, but until then, this will be my backup slash work phone. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or your thoughts on this phone, and let me know if you have any recommendations for alternative phones to the Apple ones that I should check out. I know Samsung's kind of at the top of my list, but one of those things, we'll see if I get there. There you go. That's my quick review on the Google Pixel 8. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.